Hey Sonny here, so it's been a while. I'm gonna show you how to play uh, Angry Chair by Alice in Chain. Uh, so I've done a lot of songs from the 70s and 80s, uh, um, classic metal and uh, uh, more the uh, melodic metal from the 80s. Uh, so uh, I do have a lot of bands I like from the 90s. Alice in Chains is one of them, my, one of my favorite bands of all time. Uh, Tool is another one, so I'm going to do some of those. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, let's get right down to it. Angry Chairs. So um, I'm trying to cover. It's a very easy song to play, and it shouldn't take as long to cover the entire song, including the solo. So first thing first, all the guitar, all the strings I tuned down half step. So it's E flat. A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, back to E flat. Okay, the first riff goes like this. So that's it. Uh, uh, you want to palm mute the low E string slightly. You don't want to just dead mute it. You don't want to do that. You just want to kind of give it like a. You palm mute on the E string. You'll play the open E string. Palm mute slightly. Second fret on the A string and third fret on the A string. Now when you put, when you play the third fret on the A string, you want to you want to pull down. Like a fourth bend, one fourth or one quarter bend. Uh, you want to bend it slightly. Go. So that's pretty much the uh, the, the main riff. Now uh, the bridge goes like this. Now, um, so I'm playing is I play uh, A3, D3, and G5. Four times, and then twice on, you go down half step, so you have A2, D2, and G4. And then kind of mute this string, and you play the fifth fret on the low E string, bend up quarters, uh, bend down quarter step. Uh, that's your half step. Uh, so that's it. Uh, sometimes you play like you'll play the uh, seventh fret on the uh, E string and A string. Uh, I think that's how it does it sometimes. And uh, Jerry Control plays in a. Like that, or you go. When you bend it down, you count four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's the second riff. The third riff is the chorus, it goes like this. All power chord, you play the A power chord, and then B power chord, and you play pop B power chord twice, and then you play the F sharp power, chord. and then G power chord. So play the A power chord, B power chord on the second fret on the A string, and twice. And the F sharp power chord, which is the second fret on the uh, low E string, and G power chord, and the third fret position, and then three times, and then A power chord again, B power chord, open E power chord. Now, what you what you can do is that you can play the A power chord, and slightly play the A string, and play the B power chord. 
and play the open E string and play the F sharp power chord. I'm sorry. Open E, I'm sorry, open E power chord. So the whole uh, chorus goes like this. If you follow me uh, slowly, it goes like this. And you play the fifth fret on the uh, E string, bend up half step three times. Back to the A power chord, B. Sometimes you can hear a little tiny. So that's the chorus, um, and then the solo goes like this. Okay, so um, play on the 23rd, uh, 22nd fret. This is a 20, uh, 22 frets guitar. So you play on the 22nd fret, bend up, half, uh, full step. I want you to bend up full step and play four times. And then play five times, two, two times in a row. Oh, there's a. And they play the uh, ninth fret on the uh, uh, G and B string together. Slide down the seventh fret. And open D string. And then play the seventh fret on the D string twice. And then open D string. And I'll play the fifth fret of D string and fourth fret on the G string. And upward pick it later. So far we have this. Slow down. Next part, open G string, open D and 2nd fret on the D string. And then next part, play the 2nd uh, fret on the G string, bend up, 3 times. And you play the open B string, and you slide from 3rd fret on the B string to 5th fret. And when you slide up, you play the 5th fret on the B string and open high E string together. Three times, and one more time, and then and go to 3rd fret on the B string. So that part, we have this. Okay. And after that, you go. Uh, you can slide from the D and G string to get to 12th fret. And play the 14th fret on the G string, bend up. And play the second, uh, 12th fret on the B and E string together. And quickly uh, down up on the 12th fret on B and E string together. And play the 15th fret on the B string, bend up full steps. So far with this. Okay, next part, 12th fret on the E. And then uh, 15, 14, 12 on the B string. 15, 14, 12 on the G string. And play the 14th fret on the G string, bend up. And then 12th fret on the uh, B string with your index finger. And the 15th fret on the uh, E string with your uh, ring finger. And once you bend it up full step, and your ring finger is already grabbing kind of G string together, I'm sorry, B string together both. 
Then you play the E string and B string together while it's been up. Like that. So slow down, it goes like that. The next part, play the 12th fret on the e, B string, and then play the 15th fret on the uh, B string, pull off tie, and you play the 15th fret again on the B string, pin up. You slide down with the slide, pick slide, and back to the riff. It's a short solo, it's really hard to hear, so you gotta kind of just play around with it here. So I'm playing a whole solo to you one more time slowly. Uh, really slow so you can get it, okay? Goes like this. So that's the whole soul. Uh, that's pretty much the whole song, and thanks for watching. Until next time.